So funny story. I earlier today I recorded my reaction to the DLC trailer because I was like, okay, cool. There was a Splatoon trailer that came out. So I went and recorded that reaction, made sure it was before the stream so that when people showed up to the stream and were talking about it, I could be like, yeah, I saw the thing and you can't spoil it for me. And so I watched that and I'm like, cool, okay, not too much new about it and whatnot, but then I get the stream started and someone shows up into chat and we're talking about an Explosher kit and I was like, what? That wasn't in the... They did a second trailer. The Mad Geniuses, they bamboozled me. So, um, here's the, here's the other trailer, I guess. Let's see what, what else is there besides an Explosher kit. We also have a release date. It's March 1st. I mean, these are usually pretty predictable, so we knew it was coming around that kind of time anyway, but... Let's see what's happening. There's an airplane with jellies captaining it. They're industrious little fellas. <laughs> it's a flying fish. I like that. That was a splashdown. Uh, oh god, what are they putting it on? Dreadringer? Did they put splashdown on Dreadringer? Oh, come on. Give it a real special, please. Okay, um, okay, so looking like new squiff, and then, uh... Wait, is the one on the right a Dreadringer? What, what are they... Are there multiple? I don't know. Um, that's some kind of charger. I think it's an e-leader. And then we've got a... Is that a flingza? I can't quite tell. And a glue, some kind of gal. Some new gear. Okay, there's dualies there. There's an e-leader there. Could probably have told from the ink splatter what kind of weapon was behind them, but we'll probably see it later. So that's the dread kit, and then this is... Oh, Explosher! Okay, that's what the other one is. Oh, it's just a new map, Marlin Airport. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention to this. Um... There's some high ground on the way out. Still looks too skinny. God, why do they keep making them so skinny? Just widen the maps by like 40% and they will all be better. Okay, so we've got our... This is going to be probably pretty similar to um, Anchovy. Um, they've got the fan platforms in fairly similar places, although these ones are... No, they were, they were paintable on the other one, too. These ones... Do you need them to get access to the opposing side? Recycled Brella 24... What? New main weapon. Huh. Because the Mark I thing is usually... A, a convention of the Bamboozler. Recycled Brella 24 Mark I. That's complicated. That's super fast. What? It can't hold its uh, umbrella out for very long. That looks like a pretty long distance shot. That does it one shot? Is that why it's Mark One? Because it looks kind of like the bamboozler. If this thing one shots, that's kind of nuts. It might be that they were just, like, walking on enemy ink or something, but they, I don't think they got hit by anything else in that time. So it's not a super long-range one-shot, but you've got the shield out in front of you to give you a pretty good free shot if you're on a line with them. So you'll need to dodge to the side 
to get around it, and that should give them time to... This is interesting. This is going to be a really, like, heady 1v1 that you have to play against this thing. Really cool art for a plane. New dualies. Dowser dualies. New main weapon. Okay, so we've got a new Brella and new dualies. What are these? Those look really long range. How many shots was that? It looked like four. Let me count from the sound. I think that's four. It might be five. I, it's hard to tell. And then we've got custom leader. It looked like it had a beacon there. Okay, so now we've got a flings a roller that has a suction bomb. New salmon run stage. Uh, what's that? Hello? They're following around like clams, but those are not clams. A Splatfest feature, the fizz bang. So it's like a special sub weapon kind of thing? That looks like an absolute mess. Like, is this a separate game mode? Uh, do you just like collect these around the arena and then you can throw them? It feels like they don't one shot. So it almost feels like it's not super worth. Like that's a pretty slow fuse time and it's not lethal damage. Looks like a two shot, but it looked like they were hurt a little bit already. Okay, so the first one hits them there, the second one hits them there, third one hits them there. So I think it's three shots, assuming that this shot reverse shot was timed correctly. Um, so like that wouldn't be a thing you would even want to do in a lot of cases, unless either your weapon has like no range whatsoever and this is the only ranged option you have. Or that's, like, the only option you have. Like, maybe it just replaces all the sub-weapons, or maybe that's the only thing you can do on this mode. We'll go and check Twitter and see if there's more information on what we're seeing here. And then side order... Oh, this is different footage than was in the side order trailer. Looks like it's mostly just action footage, though. No f further, like, explanations. Cool surreal art, though. Okay, so in, in the side order trailer, they were like... And th this will be coming out later, but... They were talking about how, like, Pearl is the drone... And I think that was just mistranslated because this is obviously Pearl right here with a little NASA suit. Is there a good place to see Ink Tank Line? E-Leaders looking like... Well, I think we knew E-Leader had Beacon, right? Because it kind of showed that uh, can we see dread ringer there no it looks too bright I don't think there's a good view of it there oh we can probably figure out 52 
was like, it's like 65 or 70. It's just a little too far away, I think. Oh, this one's a small... There's no way this is Burst Bomb, right? Uh... That's really low. Is that Burst Bomb? If this thing can one-shot... Even if it can't one-shot, if it gets a Burst Bomb to combo with it... So that just looks like dualies, but slightly slower fire rate, much longer range, no jump tech. Wait, splash wall? Explode with splash wall. Sp Is it really splash wall splash down? Because that was how they started off. That's the explo. Splash wall and splash down? That's so bad. Like, why would it ever want to get close enough to someone to use the splash down? I guess the splash wall is not, like, the worst thing for combating, like, a pencil. But if you're only getting a splash down for it, that's just not worth it. I guess the idea is to maybe give it a panic option to try and paint its way out of danger if it needs. It's going to be like <sighs> using it to try and paint its feet when its feet get stuck. Which is like a thing up until maybe like S rank. And then you start just kind of getting punished by getting shot out of the splashdown. <sighs> I don't know about that. That seems pretty bad. Definitely not a, the competitive kit. Like, they're, you're definitely going to prefer the uh, Inkstorm 1. Unless there's something I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Mid seems crowded, but not, like, the worst. Uh, getting into the opposing side looks awful. Looks like truly painful. It is kind of neat. Like, what if you can get to their fan and you can get up onto the grates, you could put a backline weapon up there and try to lock them into their spawn that way. It wouldn't have a way to recover ink, but it would be able to have high ground over the enemy team. Like, that's going to be... That could be, like, that would be a really good crab spot. That'd be disgusting for that. I do like that they put the wall in front of it so it can't just, like, sit and watch both sides. It has to commit to one side or another. But that's not going to be a huge issue for something like a splatling. Hmm. Who does that help the most? And it does look like you have a... A way out on the top right that's uncontestable except by going all the way into their base and coming back on your way out. So that'll give you a good view of mid. That'll be a good, good backline position in general that you'll have to target and look out for. This seems like kind of a nasty charger map. There's not that much cover to protect you from the chargers. Yeah, E-Leader is right. The map is like a little wider than the typical for Splatoon 3. I maybe this is copium. Is that it's not much more wider than like Barnacle, but it's not sectioned as much as Barnacle is. You can move freely from one side to another. So fewer like nasty choke points, but that also means it's more open. That also means like how do you traverse this against something with really long range? The more I look at it, the more I'm like, I don't want to play this against Chargers. This seems 
really not fun to have to play against a charger. Everything's just wide open unless you're behind one of those, like, three blocks across the middle. What the heck are they going to call this thing? You can't call it the Mark I because that's the bamboo. The Recycled Brella 24. Are they just call it, going to call it the 24? The, 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 the RB? That's the Range Blaster. This name is awful. <laughs> how, how do you shorten this? The, 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 the paper brella? The, the bambrella? <laughs> the, what? This is really a bad name. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. Recycled brella? Why make it five syllables? I want to say that's in between two hash marks. Should mean that's 65. Unless these things are also sub weapons, and that's the ink tank it's drawing, ink tank pool it's drawing from. Yeah, I don't know. I checked Twitter. I didn't really see any updates there. Maybe I missed something. But uh, initial thoughts, dowser dualies are immediately of interest. Like, how fast do those things splat? Is this something that uh, is going to have a good kit? Um, lots of question marks there. This new Brella looks like it could be really good at fighting. Um, and if it has a burst bomb, like it, I think it might, then... That could be really dangerous in combination with its uh, Brella shot. That would also help with consistency. Like, even if the Brella pellets aren't necessarily easy to line up for the one shot, having the Burst Bomb to finish the combo would be great. Um, Explo, I'm so sorry, Explo players. You didn't deserve that kit. Flingza with Suction Bomb is neat. It really depends heavily on what special it gets, whether it will ever, you know, see use. Dreadringer. Did we see anything about the Dreadringer? Because it ended up not being the one that had Splashdown. I don't think we saw too much. Unless there's like incline analysis that someone's done. Custom Eater kit that has beacons. That's a pretty good fit for the weapon. So that's you know, Backline weapons are some of the best weapons to put beacons on. They're the ones that are going to be in positions that you would want to jump to. And... They're going to be spending so long using their main weapon that they don't really want to be using it at the same time that they're firing. So put it down, forget about it, and then go do something else, which is what you're looking for with beacons. Um, depends heavily on what uh, special it gets. I believe in Splatoon 2 it was the Bubble Blower, which is not in the game anymore, so it's completely up in the air what they decide to replace it with. I've done some poking around on Twitter, and it doesn't look like there's a lot more information. I haven't seen anyone doing incline analysis on this. A lot of the shots are pretty far out, so I, I don't really blame someone for worrying about being off by, you know, a few and not quite getting there. So I'm sure we'll get new information soon. They tend to announce each kit in a row anyway on Twitter. So we'll know for sure bit by bit as we approach that day. Um... But Explo kit, not looking forward to it. 52 is cool. I, I would love a new 52 kit that's good. Um, that would definitely get me playing that weapon. Um, the Dooleys are of interest. The Brella, I really want to see how that goes because that feels like it has potential to be really strong in 1v1s. Kit is also a, a factor that will matter. New map looks kind of mid I could be convinced that it's better than it looked to me. Um, but I'm thinking probably along the lines of like Barnacle and Dime tier right now. Um, new mode looked chaotic and a little, I don't know. That seems like something that I would only really want to play during a Splatfest a few times. Uh, if Based on what I saw there, but... We'll have to see. Um, and the, it kind of it kind of reminds me of Bob on Blast from, from Mario Kart games. Uh, the Explo kit was not it. 
Flingza could be pretty good. Um, we just have to see what special it gets. Sea Leader will probably enter some people's rotation for weapons. Basically just waiting to see what the new kits end up being. Um, and if there are any balance changes that come along with it. I think they, they're really light on balance patches. Uh, for, for when they're adding new content. They don't touch things too much. But we will see if... Uh, there are any significant changes that happen here. I'm hoping they do something to Snipe Rider. I don't know if they're going to be fast enough on the draw to know that they need to do something about that. But, man, every everyone that I'm talking to is just like, hey, so yeah, like there's this weapon that I like playing, and then I played the Snipe Rider, and I was just doing better, and I don't even play the Snipe Rider, but I was doing better anyway. Um, it's just a really, really strong weapon right now that is forcing a lot of people to consider it and uh a lot of people are like eh, i'm not so sure I, i'm interested in playing that looking forward to seeing more information but uh the meta is kind of in a eh, sort of place right now it'd be nice if there's something in here that shakes it up